when you're reading the Word of God and the Word of God just jumps out at you and comes alive. Read it with me, children. Genesis 22, chapter 16. I'm sorry, verse 16. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies. And now, 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 let's go to Revelation chapter 1. The end of 17 and verse 18. Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of death and Hades. What do gates have? Gates have locks. And how do you open a lock? You get the key. And the person who has the key to the gate is the owner of the gate or the possessor of the gate. And what has been the biggest enemy of humanity other than hell and death? The ultimate victory Jesus won was when he conquered hell and death. So this promise that God gave to Abraham all the way back in Genesis chapter 22, that his offspring, and when he's speaking of the offspring there, he's speaking of Jesus. That his offspring would possess the gate of his enemy. And glory, hallelujah, Jesus does. He owns hell and death. He owns, he owns the, the ultimate enemy to humanity. And it has been completely destroyed and crushed by him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I. This is random, but I was really excited and I just had to get on here and shout it to you. So thank you for watching. Bye bye Oh, and remember, we have the victory because Jesus has the victory.